Yeah, it was just good, 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 good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Flight Mirai Emberwind. We are currently on our way to visit Battle and his poetry meeting in uh, in the Ice Crown at the Archon Tournament. <laughs> it is a special event, so we will see. Ooh, that's a lag, that's a lag. Oof, oof, oof. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Good. So I'm gonna find him right now and see how many people have arrived. And I will report to you once we start. Until then, we will see each other on the event. We, ha we have located Mr. Bertel and his wonderful stage. Now we are only waiting for the poetry to begin. It's gonna be... It's already looking great. And a shit ton of people behind us, but never mind that. Right, we have quite the audience tonight. Even some NPCs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so NPCs, okay, okay. Uh, this should be a special event, it shouldn't be something that's common. But we will see. Maybe Bertel gets inspired by this and maybe he gets more locations. Who knows? I certainly like the area. It has this little podium. It could be really lovely to use. And it is a neutral space, so it could be a, another version of the alarm meetings. Whew. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to be about to begin. Bertel is about to give his uh, lovely speech, so we will wait. Let's get this meeting started, eh? I decided to make some UI changes while we record this because we don't really need to see that many things such as the sidebars and um, stuff like um, yeah, quests so I hit them for now as well as relocated some things to make it uh, a little bit more spacious Welcome to the 100 and 46, I think, meeting in the Poetry Appreciation Society. <coughs> As always, I will open up the meeting by reciting a poem. Oh, tonight, it will be two shorter ones. Oh my, excellent. Excellent. After that, people who had their names signed to the sign of this will they will take turns accordingly at presenting their contributions. There is an additional time. People who did not get a chance to sign up on the sign up list may have chance still.
And as usual, it will all conclude with a small firework display. So please stay for a moment. The first two poems I am going to recite tonight was sent to me by a couple of my friends as poetic source of gift for the party I held last Sunday in celebration of my 55th year of birthday. First one written by Jack Skinner also known as Pancake Jack. And the poem is titled, It's Not Easy Being Purple. <laughs> it isn't? Hmm, peculiar. You make it seem easy, my friend. <coughs> It's not easy being purple. Spending each day being the color of the beats. But I think it could be nicer being brown or gray or black. Or something much less colorful like that. It's the... Uh, it's not easy being purple. It seems you stand out against so many other ordinary things. And people tend to call you over because you're you are standing out like flashy sparkles in the water or stars in the sky. But purple's the color of magic. And purple can be impressive but friendly like. And purple can be big, can be big like a temple, or important like a crystal, or tall like a spiral. And purple is all there is to be. It could make you wonder why, but one, why wonder why? <laughs> wonder, I'm purple and I bl it will do fine, it's beautiful. And I think it's what I want to be. <laughs> okay, that, that's the, probably the most hardest to read, but still delightful poem that you had tonight. I hope the others will be easier. <laughs> so, next one is titled Master of Poems. And this might seem a bit smug, but it is not myself who wrote it. But the words of Czech Skinner again, and Alexandros Revinklo Medici, master of poems. How impressive it can be for this diminutive person to bring such words of imaginations alive. He invites us all to join him and share our creations. Evoking sadness, mirth and wonder. Evoking sadness, mirth and wonder. To the applause of a captive audience. He fills the sky with fire of reds, golds and greens. A shining spectacle. For the crowds to witness his tenacity. His dedication knows no bounds. His friendship is without limits. A great purple clad gnome has earned two deserts in his honor. And yet he is sweeter and more wholesome than both. 
those who have earned his friendship. Our lives are made better with his pers presence. Those who share our works with him. We are grateful for your support. Forever we applaud you. Bertel Wobblespring, master of poems. <laughs> truly, truly. Fruitful poem. Tonight's first poem is a gnome. My, my. Her name is Tina. Give her a big applaud. Yes, we will. Of course. Now then, Tina, what did you bring to us? <laughs> My apologies for the yawning. I don't know what's happening with me. Evening, all. You will be seeing a lot of. Uh, seeing me a lot tonight. And with these two poems, I decide now I wish to take you on a journey. Oh yes. I will start with a poem about snow called Snowy Days Night. The glimmer. The cold that draws you to a fire or warm bed. I hear the crunch of boots in the snow outside. And the grey city turns to a field of white. Losing myself in a puddle of ice. The frost creeps onto my gloves. The sun seems distant. Seems a distant memory. Through my coat, I feel nothing at all. At all. Not even the cold's bite to remind me I'm alive. This makes me sad and also happy. That's it? Okay, that was an interesting point. That's great! <laughs> my second poem is a bit sadder, but it is my masterpiece. I spent a long time on it. Icicles. Her poems leave me. Question reality. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. Off the boat to the old post. Setting up our last dead, our last hope. Against the corruption of power. sat in his throne upon the castle of death and black frost. We walk 
in the piercing cold, frozen to the bone. As those who the ice took before her eyes once more. Under his command, they strike. Glaciers littered with corpses. A shadowed moon in the blizzard. I alone scout running to report to a base engulfed in flames. I look to the horizon where former battlefield. My eyes well with tears. And as I stand there, I wonder. Is this what they call a frost morn? Interesting. I have the same feeling as about the first one. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this. I'm confused as hell. <laughs> Time for a great contestant. Her name is Pixie. Well, no, 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 no. Their name is Pixie. I've forgotten. My apologies, dear. I have clearly forgotten where you are with your character. <laughs> All right, I got two points lined up. One, it's a real shorty, but needs some props. So let me start with the first one. For some reason, I want to speak really, really, really fast. <laughs> I want to, to speak them really, really fast. This is called Pixie Spitting Truth. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh! Spitting facts? Clearly. <laughs> Hi! Been a while since I graced the stage with waging bars. So please belong, welcome back to this humble little pay. As I take you all with me down twisty turny way. On my quest, only the best. To give you all a primer on the nominative pairs. Pairs? Time is of the essence. <laughs> Clocks are nifty gadgets, but don't believe them for a second. I believe them for two seconds. Cause a second and the force of nature, but the quanti quantitative guess. Of forces you may you mere mortals cannot dare to express. Let the time fly, we are getting by. Ditch the hour that cl the clocks face reckoned. Fact. As a matter of control and a reason pros proves its power. Textbooks preach of truth, but in reality is theory. Correct. Half a life of information falls asunder to a query. Even in flux, that's 
is at the crux. Resort to data only in the darkest hour. Gender. <laughs> Socially constructed as binary split in twain. They claim that mortal flesh is scoped to fit the form of he and she. By various shells as role models for fluid souls like me. Let us be gay, I am them and they. Find your favorite pronouns and go against the grain. Free is no one. <laughs> it's the way we are meant to be, not as cogs in a machine. Break the council, take the reins, and together we will trust into a new world order built in empathy and trust. For community, stand in unity. Collectively, we are strong than we are even than we have ever been. This. It's better I let you all off. Thank you for your ears. Doubt I changed your mind, but eh, it was worth a shot. I had fun, hope you had too. So that uh, wasn't all for naught. Pixie is mad. Pixie is rare. <laughs> that is all for me. Love you all and cheers. Damn, Pixie, you spitting facts. <sighs> now to the other one. Let me just conjure this stuff up. Alrighty. Pixie conjures forth a series of illusions forming a, mathem a mathematical equation of, out of magical lights. 12 plus 144 plus 20 plus 3 times. Uh, what the fuck? I don't know that lights in English, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get nerdy. A dozen, a gross, and a score. Plus 3 times the square root of 4, divided by 7, plus 5 times 11, is square root 9 squared and not a bit more. <laughs> wait, wait, is it true? Is it true? Shit, I have to do the math. <laughs> uh, 156, 176. That's, for, that's one for you, nerds. I will have to calculate it after the video. <laughs> Let's make a screenshot because I need it. This is crazy. Correct. Absolutely 100% factual. Yeah! <laughs> it seems Bertel is bringing another one in. This time sent by... Orion Quest.
Instead, it says Britain's witnessed by Edward Silverstone, soldier at the unnamed battle on Gorgathia. And the title is O Imperator. For Ave. Trip, trap, clip, clop. The rain fell heavy with tears. Trip, trap, clip, clop. Our empress before us appeared. I would say maybe appears. Her blood did run ice cold. Her heart did shudder and break. Her eyes did burn like fire. From this nightmare she could not wake. Upon us she looked with such pity. We praised her with our broken breasts. She vowed she would save us. Today would not be your deaths. Across the battlefront. The sounds of conflicts grew quite still and we are silenced as one. The soldiers once again cling to their prayers, but the amount of hope left is none. And thought and though the stillness is a source of respite, I cannot settle the shudders of fear. But if one guards their faith strongly enough, salvation before you shall appear. O Imperator, grant them thy protection. Today they march into the flames. My love, grant them thy salvation. Once more the hellfire erupts. The demons form an endless horde. Their powers immense, they taste their victory, and all of us shall be put to the sword, but as the darkness makes their last stand, when the final outcome is set in stone, before our empress now towered high, the emperor himself and her call, his wrath will be now, will now be known. Ave Imperator, all people suffer in my sight. Undo this sorrow, grief and pain. One and all bear witness, my Emperor's might. Our uh, Imperator, show no fear this, ni this night. Into the dark of death, my darling, go. Our protector, our faith and light. Well, that's, uh, that's a really good one. I liked it. Oh my fucking god, that's genius! Next up is a man of the ardent pursuit. Ardent pursuit. He stands like an idiot. Caspian. <laughs> Caspian. 
All right. Let's see what you've got in mind. <laughs> Alright then, I'm Caspian, I didn't name my poem, but started to write soon after getting info about this event. Finished uh, not a long time ago. <coughs> In the realm of war and loss, where I lost solace, there lies a tale of a young girl named Marta, grace-filled and just chaste. In fleeting moments, her smile once shone bright. Now, in silent whispers, her memory, her memory takes flight. Marta, a gentle soul, as pure as the morning dew, with heart that overflowed, tender and true. Her spirit, tapestry of kindness and care, radiated peace, serenity rare. O oh, Marta, the ethereal essence in my heart, a blossoming flower torn apart by life's dart. In the tapestry of time, your thread was too brief, yet the love you planted remains evergreen, my precious leaf. Life, like dreams, your laughter dances, words, like gentlest of breeze. It all is gone, will never return. All what left is, is memories. Your presence, though distant, still whispers in the air, guiding me, inspiring me, in moments of despair. Other of this crew, dangerous, threat on every piece, but what you honestly wanted is nothing but peace. Persing person caring about people, animals and strangers. Without you this world is harsh. I miss your kindness. My real world lost a beacon. Too soon to comprehend. But your spirit endures in our love. It will transcend. Life is withered, but my purpose true. Under good bringing banner, I fight for you. Though tears may fall like raindrops on the somber eve. The beauty of your soul forever we shall perceive. Get lost, Rian. <laughs> In the depths of our hearts, your love will reside. A flame that burns eternal, a cherished guide. So let these verses etch upon the parchment of time. A tribute to Ma Martha, a love so sublime. Until I join you, my spirit, find release, forever cherished, dear darling. May you rest in peace.
This was a fucking sad one, mate. I'm gonna slap you. Curses. It was gorgeous, mate. Don't get me wrong. has returned for more. <laughs> this is time to get confused once again. <sighs> Alright. Did I even start recording? Yeah, I did. Good. Um, hello again! Sorry all those of you who dislike pros. I just can't do rhymes anymore. This one is called The Dusk, Dawn and Day. All settles down, Qui quietens. This is, it is def deafening for a moment as the memory of sound fades with the figment of dying light. Down goes the lighthouse, up come the fog lights. That have an easier time guiding me to shore. The astral mirror echoes the day gone by. Rejoice, the sun is gone. Fuck yeah. <laughs> When no one watches, you are free. The silence hides much in its shadow. Colors hidden now are go are not gone. But with the veil of moonlit anonymity, they let out their heinous cider. <laughs> and as the dawn shows its ugly face, they hide. Covering their inner evil. Under a mask of niceties. The sun's flames will purge it all. Those people who fight for the causes they created BURN! Those whose ideas of helping is raising awareness BURN! Those that act mighty, mightier than thou, 
But behind closed doors are monsters too. Burn! Those who define themselves by the one of their parts. Burn! I'm sorry. Those who, those who talk behind your back, but do not have all, do not have the guts to tell you to your face. Burn and rot all. Burn in the sun's glow as your sins come to the light. It is all gone. Ruins where it come once stood. The night that is. In the fallout of its destruction. All that was has now burned. Make way. Make way for the dawn anew. We exorcise the shadows. Now it is time to exorcise the angels on our shoulders. Obey the sun's new order. Worship that fairy star. All that is as it seems. Don't look any deeper. The newspaper says say so. Ignore the new walls. and the golden paint cans on the moon. Mm, once again, interesting. This one, I kind of don't have the result of the first ones though, which is good, I like it. Certainly better than the first two. Thank you, thank you, Tina. What do you do? You get another brilliant idea. Next up is Sky. Good consent. <clears throat> Let's see what you brought to us, my friend. <coughs> Pardon. Too much water. Too much water. I'll speak with that about it later. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I never did that before, so bear with me. That poem I picked is my own version of the magpie rhyme. Whoa! Whoa! Chill out, bro. Take your fucking time. <sighs> One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret never to be told, eight for the for a tale the stars have spun, nine for a gate that can't be undone, ten for the river of forgotten lore, eleven for a key to your spectral lore, 12 
for a mirror that reflects the night, thirteen for a beast that lives in the spite, fourteen for a realm beyond our reach, fifteen for a speech no tongue can teach, sixteen for a dream trapped in stone, seventeen for the old god's hollow moan, eighteen for the abyss that gazes back, nineteen for the cosmic formless wreck, twenty for a magpie's, magpie's final verse, in a universe where shadows converse, the end of the rhyme, the start of the dread, where not a single word is said. That was a good one. But next time, maybe slow down, <laughs> don't just copy paste it. Okay? It's just my own, um, personal take on your um, presentation. Seriously. Thank you, though. It's nice. Good, sp uh, good spin on it. And for those who want to know, he left an OCC credit note to William Moore. You will get it. William Moore, yeah. Yeah, credit to that person. Thank you very much, Sky. <laughs> Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Next up, and possible or maybe last, who knows, is Neymar. Hey, Mons. So, uh, <laughs> already <a> good stuff. <laughs> uh, brought this in like a few minutes. Cheeky your self advertisement, eh? For my business. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> girl. Hello, sister. Sister. <laughs> so don't mind me, just explain my din. Okay, okay. Ah, call it. The spirits be clear. <laughs> all right, all right. Call ya. Call out, do ya? The spirits in the air. A domestic by the rain, my brides more be. More than fair. Come ask me question. I don't need a lot. To know if the spirit's on your side. Or nothing. <laughs> Feather spoons and mistoons. I can give guide. Your journey from where you roam. Words of wisdom. Words of plenty. My, my words be careful, and not too many. If I sell that charge, I think it'd be cheap. So don't be shy, come take the leap. Deep down you know the question you seek. I can give you the answers, just call me teach. <laughs> I talk to the dead, they talk to me. If you want a reading, be voices three. The spirits be real, man. You don't wo want their debt. So heed my advice and don't forget it. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> Love it. <laughs> Just... Oh, tears. Oh, oh, okay. Another poet. It's time for Ryan Nicole. <laughs> Hi all, I'm Rain, and I have no idea how this works, but I got <laughs> told the basics. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Pour it down on us. I need a fucking drink. Ah, shit. One hand is not uh, good enough. Haha. <laughs> Ah, got pretty thirsty now. And now my poem. Good. Go ahead. Fair warning, it is rather short. Yeah, that's fine. Hooks for you and hooks for me. Hooks for all and hooks for thee, to thee. <laughs> hooks of all sizes, small and huge. Huge hooks in all the hu hugging hues. <laughs> Hoogies for all, the huggable hook fans. Hooks for you all, the end. <laughs> Excellent, reminds me of Shoduk. <laughs> good work though, good work. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You a genius. Next up is a friend of mine, Hermar. The following poem I did write based on my own small adventures on the Dragon Isles. I had not really much time to refine it, so I hope it this is enough. Stars and streets so bright, shining in gold and light. <laughs> Mythic stories written and told. Under the sky, all did unfold. Adventurers come from far here. For gold and treasure. And a lot of beer, <laughs> you know it. Hear the roar of dragons. The sounds of traveling wagons. Let's do it off. Nothing escapes the wing winged gaze. Blades and shields are drawn. Charging into fire and blaze. The battles end by dawn. So all raise your voice, jugs in hand rejoice, the night is young, 
growing tired the tongue. Enjoy your drinks, you all, in the Dragon Isles Hall. Do the bow. Hera. <laughs> but that was uh, excellent fun. I like it. I like it. It's truthful to adventuring. Yeah! <laughs> and we have confirmation. This is all. Thank you all for attending. Uh, next month should be. Let me just check the calendar. Uh, not this. Eleventh installment. Eleventh, 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 what? Eleventh August installment. Excellent, excellent. This could be fun. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much and uh, have a lovely night. I have some uh, role playing to do. <laughs> have fun and enjoy the summer. Achtelon out.